Thanks so much for those really handy tips. And remember what everything that Bobby said, it's very true. So we do see that severe weather threat for today. However, it's all about the timing. So today we do want to focus in on this. We just got the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center. Idalia now a category one hurricane in the Gulf. Now we do anticipate this system is going to continue to travel northward. It's moving north at 14 miles per hour, and it's going to undergo what we call rapid intensification. Thanks to how warm these sea surface temperatures are in the Gulf, that's going to serve as plenty of fuel for this storm to get its act together and grow and intensify rapidly. So what we do anticipate is heading into late tonight and early tomorrow morning that this system could become a major hurricane. Category three right there as it's approaching the state of Florida. Now that landfall is still projected to be the Big Ben, and I know you might be thinking, okay, we're out of the cone, we won't see anything. That is wrong. We we are still going to be impacted and this system is still large enough that those impacts from the system are going to be felt far outside of the cone. And remember, the cone is only a trajectory of where the center portion of it could be. So if it falls more eastward, which is what we've seen before previously, we could see this system shift closer to the Tampa Bay area. That eye wall, that's going to be the most dangerous part of the storm. So the further offshore the eye wall stays, the less impacts for us. But the closer it gets, if this wobbles more eastward, that would mean more impacts for us. But no need to worry. Today is the day where you're going to get those last minute preparations done. We are under this hurricane warning, so keep that in mind. And let's take you hour by hour so that way we know when you can get that stuff to make sure you're prepared and have all those supplies in your hurricane kit and getting that hurricane plan into action. So take a look at this. This is 1030. We're still seeing those skies pretty much partly cloudy to mostly cloudy. The cloud cover starting to really tack on right around 1030, 11 o'clock. And you start to see the system progressing up northward. And we get the first couple of bands that are giving us that threat for severe weather that Mike Pringley is going to talk about here in a second. So we start to see the bands moving in right around 2, 3 o'clock, bringing with them that threat for an isolated tornado and heavy amounts of rainfall. As the system continues to shift more northward, this is 1130 tonight. So the main event is going to be late tonight, early tomorrow morning. You can see the eye almost just parallel with Tampa Bay. This is 130 a.m. It's going to continue excuse me, to travel northward heading into 2, 3 a.m. That's when we do continue to see these bands of rain and wind. However, the one main impact, the most dangerous part of the storm is that storm surge. So the tornado threat is mainly for tonight up until midnight. After midnight, the main threat then becomes storm surge. So that is because we see these winds coming in from the southwest, pushing all that water into the bay. But this morning and early afternoon, you still have time to get those supplies. So no need to worry. Just stay prepared all throughout the day. And me and Mike Prangley are going to help you do that. Let's take a look at your local weather and that severe weather threat for today. Let's get right to the tornado threat, and that would be this afternoon. So a quiet start as you head out the door. No problems whatsoever uh, as far as severe weather. In fact, as we take a look at this afternoon, that will change. Primary threats would be isolated tornadoes, wind gusts, and those bands that Amanda showed you at 50 miles per hour plus, and street flooding. So you see the yellow shading for most of our viewing area. That's a severe weather risk of two out of five. That would be this afternoon into this evening. So it's just something to keep in mind. Another reason not to be out and about. We need to finish our preparations this morning. We look county by county in those impacts, Citrus, Hernando, and Pasco. We're still expecting the biggest impacts from the system. You're going to be closer to that eye in the eye wall that will make landfall in the big bend as we head into first thing tomorrow morning. The closer you are to the center, the higher the wind speed. You'll see some gusts to 80 miles per hour. It'll be like a tr strong tropical storm with those isolated tornadoes. 8 to 12 foot surge tonight. That is going to be the biggest threat from the system. It's the water against the coastline. Crystal River, you're going to see that water come up late tonight, especially as we head toward dawn tomorrow is when that water will peak. You see the rainfall at five to 10 inches. We move south. Okay, we've got Pinellas County and Hillsborough County. Check this out. Still winds of 50 to 70, gusts to 75, tornadoes and that storm surge, a big problem. Four to seven feet water, seven feet higher than it should be. And then you've got the waves crashing on top of that dangerous and life threatening. So there is storm surge warnings out uh, for our coastal areas. And as you go down toward Manatee and Sarasota County, also watching that dangerous surge of two to four feet, winds of 40 to 60 and gusts to 70 miles per hour. Inland areas, this is a storm for all of us. 
It's going to be a major hurricane as it makes landfall. And notice those winds inland, 30 to 60 with 2 to 4 inches of rain. So on our 7-day forecast, we've got bands of rain and wind. Tornadoes possible. That would be as we go into after 2 o'clock today, a high of 91. Storm peaks tonight, mainly a nighttime event, okay? And then during the day Wednesday, we start windy with some rain and then gradual improvements, especially during the afternoon with that high of 87. And then good news, we're getting ready for Labor Day weekend. Yes, we've got great weather, so we slowly dry out and temperatures near 90 degrees.